Hi, welcome to the video guide for how to use OctoPrint in IdeaMaker. Before we begin, please confirm that the following preparations have been completed before configuring or using OctoPrint in IdeaMaker. First, if you're using a third-party printer, first configure its printer settings in IdeaMaker. Second, install OctoPrint on your device and configure its network settings appropriately. You can follow steps one through three of our guide here. Okay, let's get started. There are four ways to configure IdeaMaker to have G-Code uploaded to OctoPrint. The first method is to set OctoPrint in an existing third-party printer's printer settings as the default target for exporting G-Code. We will also walk through some other locations where you can configure this G-Code export method, such as in the estimated print result interface, the G-Code preview interface, or the uploading queue interface. All of these methods will require you to enter your OctoPrint's URL and API key. Please refer to the following article for the specific configuration method of the URL. The API key can be found in the OctoPrint interface. Enter the static IP in the browser to enter the OctoPrint interface. Currently there are two types of API keys, namely global API keys and private API keys. You can choose any API key according to your needs. For the global API key, click the settings icon. Then click the API tab in the left hand menu bar to find the global API key. There are two ways to find the private API key. Method one, you can find the private key in user settings. First, click user settings in the upper right corner. In the application keys tab, you can view your own private key. Method two, you can find the private key in applications key in the left hand menu bar. Click the settings icon, click the application keys in the left hand menu bar to check the private key. Please note the API key is required when configuring OctoPrint later. You can choose any API key for configuration. You can click the copy button to copy the API key for convenience. You can configure OctoPrint in IdeaMaker after finding the API key. Open IdeaMaker. Click Printer on the menu bar, then click Printer Settings. In the Printer Settings window, select your third-party printer from the Printer Type menu. Then set the default action for G-Code export to upload to OctoPrint. Click Setup to enter your OctoPrint details. Enter the URL and API key in the Setup OctoPrint window, then click OK. Click Save to save the settings. Open IdeaMaker. Then open your slice model file, such as a STL, OBJ, or 3MF file in IdeaMaker, and select the already added third-party printer when selecting the template. After successfully slicing a file, click the down arrow to choose one upload method in the estimated print result pop-up window. Select Upload to OctoPrint as the upload method, then click Upload to OctoPrint. At this time, the printer type is displayed as the third-party printer you selected when slicing. Click Setup to start configuring OctoPrint. Fill in the API key and URL in the corresponding columns, then click OK to finish the configuration. First, open IdeaMaker. Then, open a STL, OBJ, or 3MF file and select the added third-party printer when selecting the template and then start slicing. After slicing, click the down arrow in the menu bar and select Upload to OctoPrint. Click Upload to OctoPrint. At this time, the printer type is displayed as the third-party printer you selected when slicing. Click Setup to start configuring OctoPrint. Fill in the API key and URL in the corresponding columns and click OK to finish the configuration. Open IdeaMaker, then click the Upload button on the left and select OctoPrint, then click Upload File. Choose a G-Code file. After selecting a G-Code file, select your third-party printer from the printer dropdown and click Setup in the Upload to OctoPrint pop-up window. Fill in the API key and URL in the corresponding columns, then click OK to finish the configuration. There are three ways to upload G-Code files to OctoPrint. Method 1. After slicing is completed, select Upload to OctoPrint in the estimated print result pop-up window. Method 2. After slicing is completed, select Upload to OctoPrint in the slicing preview interface to upload the file. Method 3. In the Uploading Queue window, click the OctoPrint menu and then click Upload Files to select the local G-Code file for uploading. If the file is uploaded successfully, click the OctoPrint icon. In the Files column in OctoPrint, 
you can view the newly uploaded G-code file in the corresponding path. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please contact us at help at race3d.com.